Okay, I'm excited because now we are installing the Warren Diesel 55% over uh, kit. Um, this will be my first time taking out a pump um, and hopefully it uh, works out, you know. Um, so up to right now, so right now I was uh, chasing an oil leak. Um, that's why I got a couple of, I got a couple of things disconnected and uh, you can't even see down there. It's too dark. Uh, I got the fender, uh, the wheel well, wheel well liner out, but, um, what I was really hoping to do was to take the charger out to get this tur the turbo blanket <laughs> installed better, but holy shit, I, I, that's, uh, I hate, I don't know, I might just, uh, I might just leave that for another day and then, um, and just right now go for the, go for the pump. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just, you know what, sometimes you just got to say fuck it and I got a lot coming up here and I just, I want to get this done because obviously it works with the blanket, how it's mounted. So, or I mean, it, how it's kind of, you guys maybe saw in another video, it's super shittily installed like down there you can kind of see it. it's i need my my light god damn it come here there we go all right yeah there you go down there you can see it's just not even i i'm i put it on when the when i already had all this other stuff on and i put it on and so it's not mounted well but now we're going for the cp4 so we got to get this this uh intermediate charge tube out of the way uh i already started on that so we just got to pull it out really i think and I undid that hose clamp down there too, or that. Uh, so, and then uh, every, everybody has been saying you have to take the fan off. I really don't want to do that and the belt off. But the other thing is I've never seen anyone do it with this uh, extra alternator here because this has the snow plowing package or whatever. So um, I, I don't know. I'm going to get into it and I'll let you guys know what the hell is going on. So. Oh, wish me luck. Okay. You definitely need to take the fan off. There's no way to not do that. It's under so much. I mean, there's, I don't even know if we can see it over here. Oh, that's bad. That's dog shit. I, I'll get you a better angle. Either way, we gotta take the fan off. There's no way to not take the fan off. Um, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to use this to get the tension off the belt, but I, I just, it's not long enough because every time I, when I push down on it, when I have enough force to push down on it, then my own hand is on top of the belt and then I can't get the belt off. So I'm going to have to, I'll probably just go and, get a super nice long one of these or really what I should, I have a pipe that I can slide on here, but it's like six feet long. I can cut that too. Either way, just got to take the belt off. Um, got to take the fan off. I think we can just let that part like droop, you know, just kind of sit at the bottom. Um, yeah, and then get, uh, yeah, get everything else going. I can't get that, get the, um, hot side pipe off i i don't it it does not come off it's stuck like on there like the retaining clip is right there i took the retaining clip off um it like it wiggles around so i don't know what the fuck is happening and i've put so much force behind this bitch to try and get it off and it just does not come off um and it's making me super angry so Hopefully I can just work around it. And if not, I'll probably just burn the whole the whole vehicle right to the ground. Because, oh my God. I mean, as everybody knows with these kind of projects, almost every time something goes wrong, you never, everything never goes your way. Everything never goes, that doesn't really make sense you can't every single time everything can't go your way there's always got to be something you guys know what I fucking mean um so that's the thing right now yeah 
So just got to get something longer to release the tension on the belt and then get the get everything off and then we're back into it. Okay, we're back. We got the kit from AutoZone. It's just a, a belt, serpentine belt tensioner uh, tool. A lot of stuff in there, but we only need one thing, which is, uh, I'll show you in a sec. I'm just gonna show you how I got it in here right now, just in case you're wondering, because I was kind of curious before all this. Okay, so here's the tool, obviously. You can see down there, there's the tension. It's blurry right now. Maybe I can, there we go. So yeah, right in there, there's that square. It's the same as most uh, belt tensioners, the way this operates. And then just give her up, push down like this. And I need more force, I need both hands, but then take the belt off of a pulley somewhere. Um, and you're you're free. And then we'll move on to the getting the fan off. Okay, belts off. You can see the excess over here. Now um, we're gonna go after these fan bolts. I think one, two. I think there's one. You know, one like down here, and one on the bottom. I think I don't. I'm not really sure. I've never taken a fan off, so we'll uh, we'll keep you updated. Okay, fans off. Um, yeah, there was one. Uh, I can't really do this. I got two hands full. Maybe like that. Um, so yeah, one. There's two down there. Um, and there's one kind of shallow right here underneath, well, this alternator, but, I, you know, I don't, some of you may have that, some of you may not. And then the last one super deep down was a son of a bitch. Um, yeah, I can't even see it from, from right here, but you can see, you can actually see where the bolt goes through on the, on the fan housing. Um, yeah, it's down there. It's kind of sticking out cylindrical. I mean, it's off now, you know, it's, it's pushed forward now. So hopefully I'll be able to get the, uh, the serpentine belt back on the right way. But yeah, so now we're here. Um, to the vacuum housing of the, um, for the pump. So you have bolt one, that's not focusing, but bolt one's there. Um, two is just there. Got to focus on the right thing. There we go. Bolt two is there. One, two, and then there's three, four underneath it. Pop that off, time it, then I got to get all the, uh, fuel lines unhooked and everything. So we'll be back. Okay, um, this is the vacuum pump that sits over top the, uh, where the timing gear is. The unfortunate part is I can't, I can't move, I can't move the, um, turn the motor over to, um, time it. Cause I, well, I tried like t tightening it, you know, going, um, clockwise and it just it, it wouldn't budge and then as soon as I came back counterclockwise it loosened that nut up um so I don't know we'll, we'll give it another shot but um I don't know we might have to just try and make our own marks or something and then do it that way I'm not sure so we'll see Okay, I got it. You just don't. You just have to take your purse off and stop being a bitch. I was too scared, but I just put some put some of my fatness on top of that wrench and pulled it right over. All set. So, yep, just time that, and I'm about to get a picture of. Actually, I took a picture. It's almost there. Um, one, uh, two uh, dashes on the um, cam or on the gear for the pump the pump gear and then one on the other one on the uh main gear so yeah just push it over so you may actually be able to see it if i try and get down here oh that's tough 
that's a tough angle, but yeah, you can see it actually. So just got a little ways to go. Just got a little ways to go. Okay, now we're at um, getting all these fuel lines uh, loosened up. So, you know, these feed tubes, uh, feed lines, these two injectors. Um, I still can't get this boost tube out because there's right down here, I can't really see it, but right down there, there's a hold for all of those lines and I can't get to it because that tube's in the way, but it's seized on, I don't fucking know. So, and then there's some down there, you gotta get those and try to get this thing freed up. And then wedge it out of there. So, that's where I'm at, but yeah, that's the next thing. Okay, so last thing we saw was timing this, which it's a little off time now, but we can retime that, I'm seeing. Um, the three holes are the three bolts that are in the valley. You'll see that too. We did not use a gear puller. Uh, Alex Wire used a brass hammer and just hit the shit out of... It wasn't, you didn't hit it that hard, did you? No, I just few taps. Yeah, just hit right on here because we did get a, a gear puller. It didn't work though. So we hit this and the, the pump just slid right out this way and the gear comes out towards you. Um, super, actually pretty easy once we just said, you know, fuck it and we'll just go do it. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, pumps out and then this is very self-explanatory to get the, get the plungers out. Just pull, pull these four, T30 I think, pull them both out, pop the new ones in, torque them down to nine foot pounds and you're all set to go back in. Okay. Um, I, so at this point, you just have to un redo everything that you did. You know, that's why I haven't really been documenting any of this, um, just because I want to get it done. But the disassembly is just the reverse of the of the assembly. Um, so yeah, just undo everything you did, and you're back together. Um, I just got finished with the serpentine belt. That was tough. It was nice to have a Alex with an extra set of hands. Um, yeah, but at this point, I mean, yeah, serpentine belts back on, fans back on, um, covers back on. Like I said, it's all that. You guys can, yeah, it's easy. Um, well, it's not easy, but it's it's not hard to figure out, but it's just hard to do sometimes, especially when if you can get your boost tubes out, that helps. I still couldn't get that one back in or couldn't get it out. So it just has stayed there the whole time. So it, uh, it is possible to do it with, with an aftermarket set of tubes in. I don't know about the stock one. I don't know how that one would line up. But uh, with that one, I did everything with it in. So it was a bitch, but it still was possible. So pump is in. Uh, yeah, we just got to put charge tubes back on and and pop the tune on. And then we're... We're set to go. I'll probably quit here for today. Because fuck that, man. Um, but, yeah. Next time we'll see ya. Um, maybe we'll do like a quick driving video. It's not going to be any really different. You know, the only way you'll feel the difference is for me sitting in there at full power if we're making 750 horse rather than 600. That's the only way you'll be able to tell. But So maybe that'll be boring if I did some sort of, you know, addition like that on the end. But, um, I don't know. We'll see if it, if it warrants it, then we'll do it. If not, then this will probably be, this will probably be about it for the video. So I hope it's helpful. Like I said, I should have videoed more of it, but at least it's something out there. It's just, you know, how it gets with these projects. You get in the middle of it and, um, the actual changing over of the, the pump, having the pump out and, you know, doing the work to the pump by far and away the easiest part of this project so easy so easy that was so the easy if you could just like take the pump out from somewhere accessible and do this would be a, a 15 minute job but uh since it's so buried that's what it ends up being so